Hello everyone and welcome to how to file your 1099 MISC and NEC forms. I'm so glad you're able to join me today. We're going to go over how to start filing your 1099s, where you can find print kits, and how to either e-file or manually file your 1099s. You'll see here that I am on my main dashboard on my QuickBooks Online account. We're going to go over to the left-hand navigation where it says Expenses, and then we're going to select Vendors. This will take you to your list of vendors. And at the very top on the right-hand side, there is a button to prepare your 1099s. Go ahead and click on that. And it's gonna go ahead and push you over to our get ready to file your 1099 forms, where you can find a ton of information. You'll see that there is some information at the top about how to go about filing your 1099s. There's also a little note that you should finish by January 27th before 5 p.m. Pacific time to meet the IRS and contractor delivery timelines. You also have an option to print and mail your 1099s as well. And if you're doing that, you should order a 1099 kit. If I click on order a 1099 kit, it's gonna take me to a new tab where I can order 1099 NEC forms and or 1099 MISC forms. You're gonna go ahead and select your state that you're filing in and then select the quantity that you need. Once you're done, you can add those to your cart. And at the very bottom, there are a few extra FAQs in case you need them. If we go back to our main page that we were on, there are additional FAQs, like what is the difference between 1099 NEC and 1099 MISC? 1099 NEC is specifically for reporting non-employee compensation, whereas many other types of compensation can be reported on the 1099 MISC form. From here, we're gonna scroll back to the top and continue on our 1099s. The first page for your 1099s is for you to review your company info. You're gonna go ahead and review that information, make sure it all looks correct. If you need to make any edits or changes, there is an edit pencil icon to the right-hand side of each section. After that, you're gonna go ahead and press next and it'll take you to your accounts. Here's where you're gonna categorize your payments for your contractors. So you're gonna go over each box and then select the expense account used for those payments. If you click not sure which categories to choose, it will take you over to a new tab where it's gonna just basically break down what each one of them is. So it's gonna have all this information right here at your fingertips. That way there's no guesswork involved. It'll break it down by 1099 NEC and 1099 MISC. Once everything looks good, you can go ahead and press next. Next, I'm gonna review my contractor's information. If you see anything that needs to be updated, you can click on them and then update their information and press save at the bottom. Once everything looks good, you'll go ahead and press next. And then you're gonna check that the payments add up. So it'll show you the name of each contractor on the left-hand side, the total payments, and then the NEC excluded and 1099 total. And if you have both 1099 MISC and 1099 NEC, it will show on this section and you can scroll down to check both. Once you're done, you can click finish prepping 1099s, which will take you to your payment for your filing. So you have e-file and contractor payments at the very top. This is a new option. In the bottom left, you have a pay only for filing. So this is for e-file only. Just the basics, only pay for the e-filing. And then to the bottom right, there is a print and mail manually. So if you prefer to manually mail out those 1099s to your contractors, you have that option as well. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the e-file only. And then here, it just lets me know you are ready to e-file. After you're done e-filing, you can set up your account to pay your contractors with direct deposit. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to e-file for my 1099s. It's gonna take me to a new page where it just shows me all the people that I'm gonna e-file for, has their names, their type, whether it's 1099 NEC and or 1099 MISC. I can preview the PDF to the right-hand side and at the very bottom, I can just click e-file my 1099s. And once I click that, 
my 1099s are submitted. I can track the status at any time by going to my 1099 filings in taxes. And you can go straight there from this section as well by clicking take me there. And then here I can see in my taxes category from my left hand navigation on my QuickBooks Online account that I can view the 1099s from here. If I need to print them out and maybe hand them to my contractors, maybe it got lost in the mail for any reason, I can have that printable and ready for them here as well. It's super quick and easy to e-file and or print and mail out your 1099s to your contractors. If you ever need any help, please never hesitate to reach out to us.